I've been a practicing trial attorney for nearly 10 years, and as I spend more time on YouTube, I've noticed five ways that successful YouTube creators are just like lawyers. First is time management. As an attorney, time management is perhaps the most crucial part of the job. Many people don't know this, but most litigators bill their time in just one-tenth of an hour increments or six-minute blocks. And most law firms have fairly lofty productivity requirements of how many hours you have to bill in a given year. Now, what this really boils down to is you just can't afford to spend time doing things that are non-productive, i.e. non-billable. Now, the vast majority of YouTube creators don't do this as their full-time job. That means they have full-time jobs, spouses, kids, etc. that require a lot of time and attention. That means a lot of time management has to go into creating their videos. I can tell you from lots of experience that a well-planned out and edited video that's only a minute or two long can take many hours to get into final form. Second is the ability to tell a great story. Perhaps the first rule of video is to tell a story that the audience can follow. The story might have highs and lows and involve different characters, but above all else, it has to be engaging and keep the audience's attention. In YouTube terms, you can usually measure the quality of the storytelling by the average view duration of a video. Put simply, people will watch a video that tells a great story. Likewise, a trial is exactly the same thing. You have to organize the information, just like video footage, into an engaging story that the jury can follow. You want the jury to be engaged and hanging on your every word and sticking with you all the way through till the end. I definitely want the average view duration of the jurors to be high so they understand all my points and hopefully give my client a favorable verdict. Third is attention to detail. My colleagues know me as a details guy, and I've even gone through a few assistants that weren't quite as detail-oriented. In many respects, there's no detail too small for requiring your full attention. My philosophy is, if you're going to do it, do it right. Lawyers sometimes have to comb over every word in literally tens of thousands of documents in a single case just because a few words on one single page could make all the difference in obtaining a positive result. Successful YouTube creators also have to pay very close attention to detail. Lighting, camera settings, audio, background, and not to mention sometimes countless hours of a tedious edit. All those little details can add up to make a much better finished product and oftentimes can be the difference between something the audience wants to watch and something they don't. Fourth is an in-depth analysis. YouTube provides truly incredible analytics to quantify how a video performs, what parts of the video the audience liked, the demographics that watched the video, etc. And it's crucial to study these analytics so you can then know what to fix for future videos or what to replicate to get a good performance. Lawyers also have to constantly analyze prior performances to see if we need to switch up things like overall style or how aggressive we are with examining witnesses or things like that. I've even analyzed how sometimes being slightly underprepared can actually work to my advantage because it forces me to be a little bit more focused and engaged with what's happening. I then analyze that data to figure out what works best for future trials or depositions. And fifth, a relentless attack. Skilled litigators often pride themselves on how relentlessly they pursue a great result for their client. Now, the job usually comes with a lot of pressure and long hours, and when you couple that with a career that usually spans several decades, that tends to lead to a constant state of relentlessness and wanting to press forward. It's no secret that the key to YouTube success is relentlessly producing quality content, usually week over week, for years on end. On average, channels between 10,000 and 100,000 subscribers have posted 418 videos, which usually takes between one and five years. So successful YouTubers know the importance of being relentless and putting out quality content to make success essentially inevitable. Thanks for watching. If you got value from this video, please like and subscribe so it can be shared with more people. You can also click here for more from the channel.